My name is Brad Steele, and I've got a question for fans of Garth Brooks and country music. The song The Thunder Rolls. Does it hold up? Music from the old days takes me to a simpler place when it was just me and you. Does it hold up, y'all? Yes, that's the question that we're asking today on the channel. Does it hold up? This is a segment on the channel where we go back and we check out music, television, movies, whatever the case may be, from decades gone by, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, maybe even a little bit of the 2000s, and we ask ourselves, in the year 2022, does it still hold up today? Today we're checking out Garth Brooks, I got that alfalfa hair back there sticking up. Uh, Garth Brooks, The Thunder Rolls <laughs> official music video. I don't know if this is going to be the best quality uh, in terms of like being able to see good like graphic wise, but it's the best we can get on YouTube. Garth apparently doesn't like uh, his music and stuff being out there uh, in the in the digital streaming world. But this is the Thunder Rolls. Official music video. Does it hold up, y'all? Hitting play. This is the extended version. That's upside down. Backwards. Strong southwesterly winds. Get real. Oh, gosh. I'm a family man. Oh, okay. I already hate this guy, and the song ain't even started yet. My God, I'm a family man. So much of a family man that you just, well, you know. 3.30 in the morning, not a soul in sight. Mm. The city's looking like a ghost town on a moonless summer night. And the thunder rolls. Is it not? Here's so brilliant. It almost feels like the thunder and the and the storm going on is almost like its own character in the song. You know, like you have the the husband, the wife, the mistress, but then it feels like the thunder is almost like serving as another character. It's like the narrator. Or I guess Garth would be the narrator, but the thunder is just like his conscience or something. I don't know. Yeah. Ask oh my gosh, it's, I, it's bad quality. Telephone in her faded flannel gown. It's bad quality, but is that a bruise on her eye? I literally can't tell for sure because it's like so, like, grainy. But if that is a bruise on her eye, this guy really is a piece of work. Not only... Is he cheating on his wife, but he's also beating on his wife. The thunder rolls and the lightning strikes. Another love grows cold on a sleepless night. The thunder rolls. Mm. See, so here's the thing that is amazing. And I know that some of you people that were around back then, millennials and older, like you remember... When the music videos for songs used to actually further the story, like because if you if you're listening to this song on the radio, obviously it's great, but you don't get to see the fact that not only is this dude a cheater, but he's also a beater. If that is a bruise on her eye, which I can't tell because it's so grainy, but you know you don't get to see those little details. Like it, I feel like this song, and I have to hear the end of it, but on the radio. It's kind of up in the air as to what happens here. You have to make up your own mind when he gets home. Like, what? Do they split up? Do they fight? Whatever. But the video kind of tells more of the story. Getting to see that visual. Like, that was a gun right there. I don't care how grainy the video is. I know that was a gun that she just put in that drawer. Right? So, the stakes are high. You don't get to... You know, see when you just hear on the radio, you don't get to see the mistress calling the wife to tell her, like, he was just with me. You know, I miss those days when the music video helped enhance the story of the song and not just just something to post to get views. You know, which I feel like a hypocrite talking about that, but so be it. Oh, and he girl. knows that she knows. Uh oh. And the thunder roll. 
Him, but she had to do it. I mean, you know, she had to. I don't ever want to like rejoice over somebody dying, but I mean, she really didn't have a choice right there. I mean, there's a little girl in the room, and he's kind of going toward the little girl. He's obviously already hitting her, and uh, so I feel like he's about to hit the girl, put the little girl in danger. Man, you gotta protect your kids. You know what I'm saying? Man, like I said, the music video like really enhances the song so much, um, and. I think that now a days music videos like this are almost too convoluted. I don't know if that's the right word. Too complicated. Um, I feel like this just told the story in a very simple way without trying to make it into a motion picture. You know, if I want to watch a motion picture, I'll go to the theater and watch it. This was a music video. We got three and a half minutes really to tell this story and we're just gonna give you the, the high points and, and you make up your mind for the rest. As I said earlier, I feel like the thunder is just almost like its own character in this thing. It's so ominous and so like, even if you're just listening on the radio and you don't see that visual, that thunder in the background, it lets you know like something bad's gonna happen here. Even if you're listening on the radio, you don't quite know. It's just something bad's coming. And because of that, yes, it holds up in 2022. Absolutely. A song like that that reels you in and you're listening and you're wanting to hear what's going to happen next and you're invested. I mean, that's a special thing in a song when you can get people that invested in a story in three and a half minutes. A television show has at least 30 minutes to get you invested. That's enough time. Stuff like this, you got three and a half minutes to try to get people to care about the story and the people in it. Garth Brooks, a master at it. And that's why it still holds up, y'all. Thank you for joining me. Some of my covers and original music should be on your screen right now. Take it in. Soak it up. Bye.